Hi friends, welcome back to Anna Nail School English channel. In today's video, I'm going to explain what is Russian manicure. So, uh, in our country, there are a lot of nail techs who hesitate using a electric file because obviously, if you don't know how to use it right, uh, it might damage the natural nail of your client or maybe on your nail. So, this is what we are going to uh, explain in this video. So, what is Russian manicure? So basically when we use an electric file and different bits to do the end-to-end -end dry manicure for a client or on yourself. So that is what is called a Russian manicure. But in my case, I don't do like 100% Russian manicure but I use a, I do a combo manicure which means I'll be using electric file as well as some of the implements to complete my dry manicure. So what are implements? Any metallic tool that we use for the extension or the dry manicure process is called a uh, implement. For example, your cuticle scissor is an implement, your cuticle nipper is an implement, your pusher is an implement or anything metallic that we use to do the dry manicure is called a implement. So here um, what I do is a combo manicure which means I use electric file uh, for almost all the work and uh, trimming the cuticle and all I use a cuticle nipper so that's why it's called a combo manicure. So right now I'm doing my own nails the dry manicure so what I did was I trimmed down the length and I did a rough shaping using a hand file. Uh, you can do the same thing after uh, doing the dry manicure also but I prefer uh, doing it this way. Now coming to the electric file so I have started doing my dry manicure. Here I am using an electric file from the brand called TPNA, it's a wireless electric file and this can go up to a speed of 35,000 and the bit I am using is called a flame bit. So these types of bits are called diamond bits, there are different shapes of diamond bits and this particular one is called a flame bit because of the shape. So now the flame bit also comes in a little different shape. Uh, not in terms of shape the radius of the bit so this one is like lengthwise also is a little small and the width is also the diameter of the bit is also is a little small but you may see a little more bigger one but don't go for like the giant ones which is not ideal for the fingernails maybe for the toenails you can use but for fingernails always go with a similar kind of bit that i'm using here so now uh the process I am doing here right now is basically I am pushing back the cuticle and I am removing all the dead skin uh, from the nail plate. So now if you see I am doing the right side of my nail. So when I am doing the right side of the nails I will be using the reverse mode on my machine. Okay, So I finish all the right sides of all my fingers and then I turn the machine into the forward mode and I do the left side. And now comes to uh, the important point which is the speed of the machine. So whenever I do the dry manicure, I always use a 16 to 18,000 RPM speed. If you are a newbie, you are going to do electric file manicure or refile manicure for the first time, I recommend you start with like 5,000 speed. But once you are experienced enough, you can go up to the speed of 18,000 to 20,000 RPM as per your comfort. Okay. So now when you do the dry manicure like this, you are pushing back the cuticle and you are also running the bit on your natural nails but remember we don't use the bit on the natural nail for like every other move so the bit should always be on a slightly side angle and you are going to make small small moves don't do like uh, from one corner to other corner in one go always make small moves and then remove the uh, sticky dead skins from the nail plate and once this is done then you can dust off the dust and check again and if required you go back again and do the um, uh, little bit more filing using your bit and now when i'm doing the left side like i said i'm using the uh, uh, forward mode and i'm pulling the side skin using my thumb so that i have the exposure to the corners of my nails and i'm also lifting up the corner of the skin and so that i can uh, i have i'll have like a really clean cuticle area okay Now that I have finished pushing backing and removing all the dead skin, I am going to switch to a mandrel bit. So this particular bit is called as a mandrel bit and mandrel bit comes 
with all the e-files that you purchased and the brown color thingy is called a sand band whenever you are using a sand band on your natural nail make sure it's 180 grit or above depending on the uh, you know condition of your natural nails if you have like really thick healthy natural nail you can use a 180 grit but if you have like damaged or thin nails then obviously 220 or 240 is recommended and when we are using a mandrel bit we are basically what we are doing is we are filing off or buffing off the surface shine from the nail plate so when you are doing or using this particular bit here the speed we use is very little so hardly 3000 or 4000 rpm is what i use and we do not put any kind of pressure when we are filing off or buffing off the surface shine and if you do too much pressure it will generate heat kind of uh, heat and then it will hurt the client and the nail will also or be over filed which we don't want to do so be very gentle uh, and another recommendation is whenever you are doing a uh, dry manicure or whenever you are going to start using an electric file always start with your own nails so that you know how much pressure to put uh, which angle you need to hold your bit uh, or the handle of the machine and how to move it which setting you need to use you get familiar with it and then eventually you can try doing someone else's nail like your friends or sisters and then later you can you know eventually include the electric file on your client services and in case if you want to learn more about electric file uh, then you can reach out to me i offer classes for electric files uh, which bit to use when what bit to use how to keep the bits clean um, what is the significance of each and uh, every bits that you find on the market which one to use on a damaged nail which one to use on a healthy nail which one to use on a uh, men manicure etc etc okay so you can reach out to me my instagram handle is in the description and now coming back to the video uh, this is what where i'm using the implement but the same process we can use it using a ball bit uh, like uh, I think blue uh, abrasive mark is the ideal one even green also you can use but blue is the ideal one so using the ball bit you can trim down that cuticle skin but I don't feel very comfortable doing the uh, ball bit uh, number one reason we don't find good uh, ball bits here in India at least I couldn't find one yet uh, maybe in future if I get it then I will definitely use that to trim down the cuticle skin but because of that I prefer using implements uh, especially your cuticle nipper over the cuticle scissor so you start with one corner eventually you cut and you know uh, just make sure you are not cutting the live skin you just cut the dry dead skin only uh, this is an optional step if you think you need to trim down then only you trim down otherwise you can leave it once this is done all you have to do is just take a length revive alcohol and clean the nail plate absolutely neat and clean okay i always wipe the bottom side or the underneath side of the nails as well when i'm doing the clients because uh, for extension we need a very clean clean, uh, clean base so that's exactly what i'm doing here and that's how my nails looks like so this is how your nail should be before your product application so that you have a very long lasting extensions okay so that's it uh, about the Russian manicure i hope you guys enjoy this video if you like it don't forget to like share comment all those good things if you wanted to watch this video in hindi then you can visit my hindi channel i'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy thank you